Hey everybody, welcome back to another creative tutorial. Today we're going to go over the smart batch tool and how to use it. And I'm going to demonstrate it on this picture of my cat from when she was a kitten because there's a lot of snowflakes on there that can be easily removed with the smart patch tool. And I think it's a good way to demonstrate how it works because it has some challenging edges here with the blanket. So to activate it, just click on the smart patch tool which is next to the fill bucket over here. And you will see that right now it just looks like you have a normal brush selected with the cursor. You can still change your size of the brush, but over in tool options you will see that you now have an option for accuracy and the patch radius. So what the smart patch tool is going to do is kind of like the clone brush and Photoshop or GIMP or anything like that where it kind of takes the area around it and resamples it so it's whatever it is you're selecting is gone. So if I were to select around here, I'd basically make sure that all this area I'm defining with the brush strokes I make turns red like to match the blanket. This is also helpful like if you have sketches you're cleaning up, you can remove um, maybe some dust that was on your scanner or maybe any errors that you made in your drawing through the inking or the coloring. So this has uh, uses for those situations as well. So we're going to start up here. Uh, I'm just going to demonstrate it with whatever settings are here. So I'm just going to make some strokes. As you can see, it's pink, and that's how I know I've defined the area already. Alright, so this is what the result is. It's pretty good. It took out the snowflake. It is a little blurry. I do lose a little bit of detail here, but this is also not the most high resolution image. But that's okay. So I'm going to undo that just so you can see the before, and then this is the after. So if I zoom out, can't really tell that it was even there except for the fact that there's a snowflake pattern here. It's going to put that back to normal. I'm going to leave the accuracy on the low fast. I'm going to move the patch radius up to 8. So what this tells uh, the smart patch tool is it needs to sample at least 8 pixels away from the brush stroke that I'm making or the area I'm defining. So if I go ahead and scribble over this. 8 pixels outside of this it's going to sample, which means it might actually sample some of this as well. Alright, so that has been sampled. It's definitely not the best result because this is not a very high quality option. It's kind of blurred. It's very messy and blotchy. We're going to undo that we're going to give ourselves a higher quality. Now, as a note, the higher you go, the slower it is to process your area that you want. And because of a patch radius, it's also going to add on a little bit of time to process. All right, so as you can see, the higher option did give that a little bit more detail. It's not as blurry or splotchy looking. It still needs some work, so I can always go back in and just kind of define this a little bit more. Alright, so as you can see, that looks a little better. It needs a little bit of work still, like I said, but for the most part, for the demonstration of this video, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to show what it looks like with a much larger brush size down here, because that will also affect the quality, or not the quality, but the outcome of the operation, or the process. Alright, so now that that's done, it looks pretty good. Put some detail back in there. Uh, it's not not very blotchy looking. So the bigger brush stroke worked out for this area very well. So we can, we're going to go ahead and try it over here as well and see what it does. We're just going to do one stroke. <laughs> okay, the process is done. As you can see, it took most of it out. It is a little darker because it's sampling from over here it looks like, which is totally fine. But still a little bit of that white in there. If I go a little closer to the blanket edge, it probably will pull some of the pixels or the sampling from the blanket itself. And it might not give us the result we're looking for. But I'm going to go ahead and try and see how it looks just to demonstrate what a bigger brush size can do along at fine edges like this. Alright, so that's done. That actually worked really, really nicely. You can't even tell. The edges didn't really get any, didn't get messed up just to undo it. And then we'll redo it. So it looks like it just kind of pulled the sampling from the edge of the blanket, like I did expect it to, to do, but it blended it in very nicely. And that's with the higher quality accuracy. So just that for curiosity's sake, let's try a lower one. 
not too low let's see what that does okay so that actually didn't do too bad did the same thing but you can see there's a little bit of an edge here I don't know if you can tell before it did blur it a little bit so it was a little bit more you, you couldn't notice it too much but I mean from far away you're not gonna see that anyway so yeah that's the smart patch tool you can see that it has a lot of really useful features or rather useful uses I like it I've used it a couple times for some photography that I just need to edit things real quick and like I said if you have scans that you are bringing into Krita or, or a traditional art that you're bringing into Krita for some minor touch-ups the smart patch tool is really going to save you a lot of headaches and time and it's very accurate the only thing you'll have to work with is finding the patch radius and brush size as well as an accuracy setting that's going to work for you and give you the result that you desire otherwise i have no complaints about it i recommend using it all right hopefully this video was helpful for you and that you were able to learn something new about the smart patch tool or at least if you didn't and you're new to the smart patch tool that you learned something about it that you can use it for in the future as always thank you for watching this video if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and i will see you in the next one